What if you had 0% health and I told you to survive for 6 hours? Would you die to grass or would you find a way to live? Well, I first started when I joined this server. Quiff, we don't want you on this server anymore. So, we're taking your health. What do you mean, bro? Why am I on no health? Yeah, now you got an MLG with this idiot. What do you mean? MLG with what? What do you mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Why am I inside a cactus? Why are you doing this? If I walk into a cactus now, I'll die. That's how low my health is. So I'm first just gonna break this cactus. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? I just broke cactus. How does that work? As soon as I broke the cactus, the entire platform fell. Meaning this was a double trap. I made my way out of here. Well, that could have been bad. Let me leave the area before those guys notice. In two hours, there's a hearts festival. Meaning everyone will be fighting each other. And if I'm stuck on 0% health, I'll die and be banned. Right now, I need hearts. And since there's a bunch of people on the server, I'm gonna go for the weakest one. Which is right there. What exactly is he doing? He currently has full iron. And with my 0% health, he'll be the easiest person to kill. And that's why I've completely camouflaged myself. Which will make me walk into his house pretty easy. Like, he can't even notice me. The reason I need to be camouflaged is because even a bush could kill me. Which means I can't go noticed. Right now, it's this item that's gonna help me. And since I have 21 arrows, it'll only take 5 shots before he's dead. One. Oh my god, what? Wait! Oh my god, oh my god, Who's there? oh my god, oh my god. Here. It turns out that Iron Gear was a bait. He had full diamond, which now makes my chance of survival zero. I might have to slowly leave this place. Oh, but he's upstairs. Which means if I try to run away, he'll see me. I'm gonna quickly patch this off because I see some carpet over here. With a little time I have, I'm gonna quickly build a little trap. Okay, this might be deep enough. I've now made the signs, and I'm gonna slowly place them here. Okay, done. I make my way down real quick, and I block it off. I just need to wait for him to go on top of the red carpet, and that's when I release the trap, making him fall and die, and then I'll gain a heart. I don't even know who shot me anymore. This, oh my is, God. this is becoming a little bit absurd. He's here. right Maybe above me. From that one please, person. Please, please, Maybe please, please. Yes! Yeah, what yes! Did that work? Yes! Oh my god, did I just outplay him? He almost hit me, with it, which would have been bad. Because a single punch would have killed me. And oh my god, I now have diamond. No, I got baited by this. This is leather gear, which means what I saw then wasn't diamond. And I also didn't gain a heart. Was that because I wasn't the one that killed him? But I'm going to use this for my next plan. Since I was fooled by the diamond gear, that means everyone else will too. I need this diamond chest plate. And voila, first item's complete. But these look too fake, so I'm burning them. The real plan is to make a small casino. Because then I can sell the diamond chest plate for one heart. And now welcome to the scam. <coughs> I mean casino. They have a 1 in 4 chance to get a diamond chest plate. And since the odds are so good, everyone will be giving me their hearts. But little did they know everything inside this casino is fake. Including the chest plate they're gonna win. That's what I'm gonna tell them to come to my casino. Because as soon as the first customer turns up, I've already won. What's up, Quiff? What kind of business we run in today here? Listen, okay, you wanna I see you're rocking full iron. I know you wanna upgrade. Let me show you. Bang, diamond chest plate. Overpowered. Ooh. Look at that. It's a one in four chance for you to play. Give me one heart. That's a steep price, but I like it. So I'm going to give you a heart. Okay, it's actually okay. It's actually a heart. Boom. Oh, you got cold. Bro. Kind of lucky. All right. I'll take another. I feel pretty lucky this time. I'll take another. Boom. Finally. There you go. Finally. The chest plate. There's no refunds. Take the chest plate. Yeah, you're good to go. I was never here. Take care. Bro, just scammed me. It's too late. Yo. Yo, I'm off. Back. After successfully baiting little fella to the casino, I've gained six hearts. And they're really real. So if I try to redeem... Yo, why can't I redeem these? Since my current health is illegal in Minecraft, the hearts won't work on me. So these hearts are currently useless right now. And now the hearts festival's in two hours. I have to find other ways to gain hearts. Luckily, I was able to steal a totem from him. Because without it, I wouldn't be here. Now, since the totem gives me an extra life, I can use it for the most dangerous plan yet. Although Loki, I can't need to summon a warden. Oh my god. Totem in my hand. Totem in my hand. Totem in my hand. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I've survived. I've survived. After barely surviving, I managed to bring the warden back to the place, which was under this player's house. Okay, the warden's right there, which means you're in position. I just place TNT here, some sand, and make four pressure plates. The aim is for someone to walk inside, which then he'll fall all the way down into the trap. And since he has over 50 hearts, the warden will do enough damage, so all I need to do is hit him once. And I'm camping right next to the warden, because I can't miss this hit if I want a heart. I see his name tag. I see his name tag. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh I see God. myself tapping. Oh, no. The warden! Oh, Griff! Oh, my Don't God. Don't do it. Oh, my God. No, no. Oh, my God. You won. You won. No. No. No, no, no. Oh, my God. I killed him. I killed him, but I might die. 
I might die. I might die. I might die. I might need to back away from here real quick. Even though I killed him, I didn't gain a heart. But his loot is still there. I'm honestly going to take all this because I need it. I know I'm kind of stacked, but I've acquired nine hearts and I'm still stuck on 0%. This means there's no way for me to gain hearts. And the entire festival is rigged for me to get banned. And why it's rigged is that player over there, Luffler. He may seem AFK, but even if I tried to kill him, it'd be impossible. That's because he's immortal. Just to prove it, look at this. Guys, do not... Oh, wait, wait is, he, is he waking up? Oh my god. Yeah, this is kind of bad. All right. But everyone's placed bets on Luffler to win. So no matter what happens, I'll be banned and everyone else will have infinite hearts. And that's why I'm currently here. In the only snow area on Minecraft. Because even though he's immortal, there's still a way to kill him. Or it'd be better to say trap him. Luckily, I got two good apples from Linux. And I'll need that if I want to trap him. I just make this, activate it. And come on, please, 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 please. There we go. Okay, first bedrock broken. I just need to do this a few more times. And it's kind of done, although this block here is too risky to break. But the plan is to trap the immortal player into the void. Because since he won't die, he'll just fall endlessly. I just cover this all now with powdered snow. Because I'm the only one that's going to walk on top of this. And now the trap's done. Now before I came here, I put a sign in Luffler's house. Telling him to fight me for 10 hearts. Now he's going to come thinking he's easily won. But this was a ploy to game stuck forever. Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Oh, no, you chill, chill, wanted a 1v1 quip, here it is. Bro. Okay, come here then. Oh, come on. I'm immortal, but I'm stuck here forever. And now he should be infinitely falling in the void. Let me leave before anyone else comes here. Now I have a high chance of winning the festival with 0.01% health. But this is why I need you. I've learned about a group of people using an alt killer, meaning they're killing alts for maximum hearts. And if I want a chance of winning the festival, I need to get rid of that ASAP. But that's not the reason I need this account. Now, once they've run out of alts to use, I'm going to sell them mine. And once I'm inside their heavily guarded base, I'll destroy them from inside out. And that's why I'm on the nether roof. Because if I keep heading this way, oh my god, wait, I see it right there. There's two buildings. Now, out of the two buildings, which has the alt accounts? It has to be that one. It's literally called account B. But like I thought, it's heavily guarded. But I'm not stupid. I just need to check my codes for F3. And all I need to do now is build a portal right here. This portal should directly lead into the alt accounts. Moment of truth, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. And they don't really know. I can't make a sound because they're right next to me right now. But I have 64 TNT. I'm sorry. Kind of don't need you anymore. And done. Oh, yes. I did it. Which means right now a massive explosion should be going off. Oh my god, they're freaking out in chat too. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Now it's time for the real plan. This place looks innocent because first I'll be building a shop and it's done. Welcome to selling your account. All I need to say is come to spawn for all account and people will come rushing. What? Is this your ult? It is my ult. How much? I want all your netherite if you want to take it. Okay, yeah, here, take it, take it, take it. Give me all your netherite real quick. All right, sick, say no more. Come on, Mr. Alt, we are going. Oh my god, okay, you're taking it in the boat, which is great. I'll see you later. Yep. Using the boat, she took my alt account back to her base. And that's where she messed up. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just, here? I'm casually yeah. going inside the most guarded base right now. If I move, I'll be caught. Guys, get in here. Quite stole this is alt. Come here. Come look. Oh my god, everyone's here. Everyone's here. This oh. alt? Please don't kill me. Oh, this, this would backfire. But I've securely managed to get inside the house. Okay, they left. They left. They left. This is great. This is great because the real plan starts now. I'm going to put TNT everywhere. Please, I have enough TNT to blow up this entire house. Where it'll blow enough Don't that they'll take me. enough damage to die. They're just outside though. There's TNT Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That explosion was massive. My ult died too, but their house is completely gone. And since they died, they lost all their progress. Which means even with 0% health right now, I could beat them in a fight. Since you killed us, the hearts festivals right now, you're gonna die and get banned? Well, I kinda expected that. And that's why I have these items. If I can't get normal hearts, I'm just gonna get fake hearts. Because now they can't one-shot me. Okay, the heart festival's begun. What are you doing? You have zero hearts, man. You're gonna get one-tapped. Come here. Let me breathe on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanna make sure. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. The losers get banned, right? The losers get banned. Yeah. All right, you guys are all dead. Okay, cool. What? 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 Yep, what? I'm not what? dying. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh my, oh my god. One's dead. Oh my god, you guys I are all stupid. Look on my side. You're all dead. You're all dead. Even if I have no health, you guys still can't do anything. We shall not. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh my god. It seems like I didn't even need to steal the totems from their house because I ended up being the winner. But I was still trapped on 0% health, which is a long way from becoming immortal. But that's why I joined the Heart Festival, which was the only way I could gain hearts. The Hearts Festival has started, meaning anyone below 50 hearts in three hours will be banned. You can gain hearts any way you want, except no killing. Time starts now. Go! In three hours? Seriously? Okay, I'm out. What? I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Everyone rushed outside the building, but 
preparing for the heart festival. And as soon as I tried to get my first heart, yo, what is that? I'm on 0% health. This only happened as soon as I left the room. I've got to be slightly careful now because any sort of damage will now kill me, including a grass bush. But wait, what's that? Don't know if anyone's there. But if I want my first heart, I need to investigate this machine. Yo, what's going on over here? I see Kipley and Emo. My guy Emo, what is this, man? The machine of wonders. Machine of wonders? What are they doing? If I'm stuck on 0% health, is everyone else? I need to find out. And if you hit any of these, you will get a heart in return. No, I can see her heart right there. She's got 20, meaning I'm the only one affected by this glitch. All right, so I get my hearts now, right? Yep, of course, of course, of course. What just happened? I've seen Kipling fly up into the sky. That was a whole explosion. Meaning if I arrived first, I would have been the one to be shot up and instantly killed. Is that TNT Minecraft? If I shoot it. Oh, oh, yo, that was the most big brain thing ever. And I've collected all these loot, but I didn't gain a heart. But I acquired full netherite. This means there's no way for me to redeem hearts through killing. And that's why I'm going to use this netherite to get some golden apple. Sorceress, there's your gear. Take it, full netherite. You can check it yourself. It is, yep. And I'll take those golden apples. Well, here you go. Perfect. And now that I've acquired a golden apple, I can now test if I'm able to gain absorption hearts. Okay, please, 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 please. All the effects are there, but there's no absorption. You can't be serious. What is this? This is no longer a glitch. Instead, someone's made it that I will lose the Hearts Festival and be banned from the server. But there's still one thing I haven't tried, and I don't have it in my inventory. Since I need 50 hearts, and I currently have zero, I need a way to gain them fast, which led me to building this machine. And it looks good. And in my inventory is a thing called Empty Heart. Now, there's actually no way for me to redeem this because it doesn't really help me. It's not even a real heart. If I I just put it inside the anvil, remove the empty, and voila! I now have a heart. And now I'm gonna give them a chance to win this fake heart for some real ones. I'm gonna take this diamond block out and put the heart in, and we're done! Although to make myself less poor, and just in case anything goes wrong, I'm wearing diamond. Everyone constantly looking for hearts. It took no time for people to arrive. Yo, Quiff, I'm here. Alright, listen. Inside one of these chests is a heart. And if the light lands on it, you could take the heart and walk away a winner. Okay, but what's the catch? That is, is you, Quiff. Okay, listen, the catch is, it costs one heart to play. Well, that's fine. I have ten hearts on me right now. Yeah, I can see your priest stacked right now. So let me see it. Oh, okay. If you want to give me the one heart. Okay, there we go. And it's now off. You're aiming for one of these chests and inside oh. one of these chests is a heart. How do I know that all these chests aren't already empty? Because check the middle one. Okay. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. All right. Give me one more and we go again. And it's going off. It's going off. It's going off. Which one is it going to be? Bro, this is rigged. It's rarer to land on the same one. With Luffler having really bad luck, my machine was looking very suspicious and the plan was about to fail. This is it. This is it. This is what you've waited for. This is exact. Oh! oh, oh, look at that. You did it. You actually got the heart. That. That's Thank all yours. Thank you very much. You can leave. Okay, so long, Quiff. With one fake heart, I managed to get free, meaning the plan was a success. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna remove the empty, and boom, I have another fake heart, which is gonna go back in this chest, and Kipley's gonna walk in any minute. Any minute, please? Quiff, sorry I was late. Emor tried to murder me, but I'm here. Okay, perfect. You've got 20 hearts. That's what I'd see. I want every single one of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I getting out of this, huh? A chance to win one heart inside here. All right, here you go. Okay, perfect. And now your aim is Whoop. to land on one of these chests. One of the, it's a random chest. Any chest can hold the heart. Oh, Congrats! Let's go! I want to play again. And we're going again. We're going again. We're going again. Okay. Another one. Double one. Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh. oh. oh is the heart not in this one? Nah, you you kind of you kind of oh. lost everything. Well, I really just broke even now. If you think about it. Whatever. I'll leave. This is. I don't want to lose anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's completely fine with me. But with Kipley losing most of our hearts, I finally had enough to leave this place behind. And I could finally test if I'm able to redeem real hearts. I've acquired 16 hearts. And they're real hearts. But why can't I redeem them? These are completely useless. It must be because I'm on 0% health. The game registers me as already dead, meaning this entire festival is against me. Quiff has been caught killing Emo. He's been sentenced to death. You are free to kill him. Wait, this is kind of bad. Someone saw me kill Emo. I reported it to Cash, meaning I'm the most wanted man on the server. And since a single bush could kill me, my chances of surviving are extremely low. But I've loaded my ult, and it says he has two hearts. This could help me escape the 0% trap. But my ult's also on 
percent Bro, what? And I still can't redeem the hearts. This means my accounts have been hardware trapped. And the player behind this all was prepared for everything. So this account's kind of useless right now to me. Bro! Yo, 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 yo. I need to kind of run. Bro, what was that? My old account was killed right in front of me. Meaning people really want me dead. And if I want to survive, I need to find a way to become immortal. On 0% health. Either way, now I have 20 hearts. And thank you, server, for announcing it to everyone with my cords. But this might work in my favor. If I was to use the hearts as bait, I could lure someone to a certain area and build a trap underneath. Need. For example, right here might actually work. This does go deep enough to kill them in one drop. This should kind of work for now. It's a pretty big hole. Good thing I have this in my hand. I gotta be very careful because even one stab will kill me. I'll put it there. Fill this place with signs and cover it with carpet. And I just need to leave the 20 hearts there. Go deep underground. Where? Like, Where? You? I know you're right here. Where are you? Oh, Christ. Actually, oh, bird! Oh, oh. He died! Can I collect this loot? Okay, uh, let me actually wear this just in case anything comes for me. I now have full nether right again and an instant health two potion i can use this health potion because there might be a way to negate any sort of damage with the potion and that's why i'm on single player i'm gonna place a pig inside you're gonna be my test subject let me place some dripstone here and time to test this by using this command the dripstone is gonna fall and kill the pig can i no it's it cannot work really let me try it again i just placed you there i don't think i timed it right all right time to test this again it's falling wait yo you took no full damage if this actually works an instant health potion may be the only way to become a more one more time. He survived, brother. The pig never dies. Well, right now, I only have one potion. And I need at least 100. But there's people guarding the portal. And I can't really enter that. That's because the nether's being regulated. Meaning you can only enter with a fee. But luckily, I have that right here. It costs 15 hearts. So, Quiff. Do you have the 15 hearts? Right here. Take it. There you go. 15 hearts. All cool. right, then. You're free to go. Yep. All right. I'll see you guys soon. But that was the thing. As soon as I entered the nether, the worst was about to happen. Yo, wait. Oh! Oh! There's no one up there. That was insane. That was actually insane reactions. Let me break out this. Bro, as soon as I saw the obsidian, I knew I was inside a trap. Someone was out to kill me. But the potion worked or I'd be dead right now. And now with no potions, I wouldn't be able to survive another trap. So I had to find the player who has everything. And that is Vault. Heart required? Yo, who needs a heart when I can straight up just, when I can just mine in? I got mining fatigue. That must mean there's an elder guardian somewhere. Luckily, I have some hearts. So if I just throw this in, why is it not opening? And my heart disappeared. Yo, why is it not opening? I can't craft a boat though. Yo, I'll find a way to sneak in somehow. Is there no way for me to glitch in? What if I throw another heart? It's not opening. And that's when I realized you need the heart of the owner, aka Skidzy. And without it, there was no way for me to enter. But now I kind of need to find Skidzy, who should be inside there. Skidzy. Oh, you're right there. Oh, hey, Quiff. What's going on, buddy? All right, listen. I see you have 46 hearts. Yeah. I'll give you these three hearts if you just give me one. Dude, what? Of course. That's a great deal. Yeah, there okay. You go, perfect. Bro. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to help you, you know, reach the requirement. Wow, that, that's so kind of you, Cliff. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, anytime, anytime. Because your vault's about to get raided, idiot. But now that I've successfully acquired his heart, I made my way back to his vault and was ready to steal it all. Please. I have his heart. I can put it in here and... Is it? Oh, yo! That's so smart. Oh, yes. Okay, there's the Elder Guardian. And totems? Yo, wait. I never thought by Wolf totems helped me. Instant healing. I really don't need any of this loot. These are all mine now. Perfect. Yo, I'm stacked. Take all this. Hey, hey, Quiff. Uh, Bro, yo. What, are you, what are you doing in my back vault up, right now? Back dude? up. Hey, hey, back hey, up. hey. What are you doing in my vault, dude? No, 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 no. no. Quiff, Quiff, get out. Okay, get out, dude. I'm literally, I'm literally going to kill you, bro. I'm going to kill you, bro. Oh, get out. Yo, 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 yo. Get out of my vault. Yo, yo. Oh, my. No way. Bro, what are you doing here, dude? No get way. out of here. No way, no way. I just spam it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Bro, I'm get running out of potions. Here, I'm running out of potions. Kill you, dude. Oh, yo. How? How did I kill him? This is from breaking free sword. I don't even know. But, yo, I'm taking all this. Potions. These potions came in so clutch. And since he's dead, I have more time to raid this vault. And I've acquired unlimited resources to help me survive the festival. Attention, 30 minutes left till festival is over. Even though I figured out a way to not die, I'm still nowhere near 50 hearts. And I couldn't evade the ban. I have four hearts. So first, I need to find the player who put me on 0%. Because killing him would reverse this curse. And that's why, Kipley, I've come to you. Hello, Quiff. Now see, Kipley holds all the information on the server. And at a price, I could figure out who was behind all of this. Kipley, here you go. Four hearts. Hearts. Every bit of hearts I have. And what do I need to do? Tell me. Who put me on 0%? Ah, I see, I see. All right. Listen carefully. Are you listening? Yep. First, you need the blood of a galaxy. Only then will you escape the machine, and this will lead you to the depths of the sea. 
or you will finally be free. Rid Yo, just tell me where it is. Why you told me a riddle? I'm afraid that's all I can offer you, my friend. Okay, well, all right. Uh, I need to figure out this riddle first. The blood of the galaxy. Would that mean the sun? Do I need to kill you? How am I even supposed to do that? Am I able to suck up the sun? I can't really suck the sun. Well, that kind of don't work. So uh, I guess I jump back down. Bro, what is this? Come on. Okay, what would the blood be? Wait, look at Sorceress. His face. Sorceress's skin is the galaxy. Meaning, do I need to kill him? And his name tag's right there. But he's in full netherite. And I only have seven potions left. But I do have lava bucket. First, I do this. The lava's right there. This will set his house on fire. Causing a quick distraction. No, 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 Okay, perfect. Oh, my. Splash myself with invis. Totem, I don't think you're going to be of any help. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, I patched the lava. I'm still on one heart, though. But it doesn't matter. Oh, map. Yo. Yo, wait. What building is that? There's no building like that on the entire world. But now I have the blood of a galaxy. So what's escaping the machine? It must be Toby. The bot. Because a bot is a type of machine. I think this is Toby's house. So if I go to his house, I'll maybe find something. I'm going to kind of break into a house. There must be something I'm missing. Is it at the top? No, because it's all ocean. But wait a second. This would lead you to the depths of the sea, where you will finally be free. Meaning at the top of Toby's house might be the answer. Okay, I, I really don't I, don't... I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm aware in the distance of 32, and it must be there. Only one way to find out. Okay, and... Oh, easy. I must be close. It has to be around here, right? Because right now I'm in the middle of the ocean. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, that's a command block. And what's this on my screen? Yo, I don't know what I'm seeing on my screen. Command block's right here. I think first I need to patch this up. Is there anything around here other than the command block? I've only got one shot at this. Trapdoor goes there. TNT, lever. I hope this totem works. I don't I might die from this. Okay, the command block's gone, but I don't know if it worked. Wait, my heart's gone back to normal. The command block was the cause of my 0% health. And now that it's destroyed, I was back in the festival. I've only got one heart and nothing else. And with 10 minutes left, I had to get 50 or I'll be banned. Time to improvise. Selling everything you need here at spawn. And now people should come running to the shop. Hey, quiff, quiff, quiff. So somebody killed me and I need some armor. All this? Oh, you can take it all? Wait a minute, let's try it. Oh, you realized? Yo, wait, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Yo, I need to dip. I need to dip. I need to dip. I've got hearts, but I still need 33 more in eight minutes. Toby, 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 Toby. There you go. You wanted four totems? There you go. Four totems. How many hearts can you give me? Uh, 15? I'll take 15. Why do you even need hearts? You can't even redeem them. Yo, wait. Why can't I see your hearts up there? Hey, let me back away slightly. No one should have known I was on 0% health, but Toby did. I also couldn't see how many hearts Toby Toby was on and my gut was telling me he's the entire reason I was trapped. Yo, hey yo, I now know who did it. I, kn I know who did it now. I don't have any armor. I was kind of stupid. I sold everything. There was no way I could kill him. He found a way to keep himself alive non-stop using the totems I just handed him. How would you kill someone who's immortal? You can't. But you can trap them in the void where they'll never escape. Five minutes till festival's over. But that's why I'm back at the shop. I'm gonna go for this middle block right here. Right here is where you'll die. Do this, TNT, TNT. If I activate this, boom like that. Perfect. The void's now broken. I'm not even gonna make a trap. I'm legitimately just gonna put a dirt there. Stand right here and tell him to come to spawn. And now when he arrives at the shop, he'll fall into the hole. How many hearts can you give me? 17. All right, yeah, yeah. Can I take 17 hearts real quick? Uh, sure. All right, I'm going to give you the best item. You see all these health potions. How good are these health potions right now? I'm no longer trapped and yeah, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're trapped forever, buddy. For a guy that was trying to act nice. He was an idiot, but nothing's popping up in chat. So he's trapped. Festival's now over. Anyone under 50 hearts will now die. Okay, let me redeem. Okay, there we go. I have 50 hearts, I think. 10, 20, 30, 40. I've got 49 hearts. Give me a heart, please. Yo, so I fell out of the world. Bro, am I banned? I respawned. Wait, how? And I'm back to 0% health. It seems like I broke the game. The game thinks I'm completely dead, which means I became immortal, as I'm no longer alive or completely dead. And after I became immortal on 0% health, no one liked it. So they decided to put me on minus one. Well, you thought you could survive on 0%? Well, what about minus one? Oh my! Yo, what is my health? You're a negative one. And so right now, I'm stuck. And now if I can't get a heart every 20 minutes, I'll die. Okay, seriously, what is this? It's a big field of cactus. And we're currently at sky limit? But slight issue. If I try to break a cactus now, the sun will fall. I'd actually die. How are these guys doing this on my birthday? Come on. Am I able to jump over that? In the middle? Oh! Yo, I need to get out here because it's Cookie the reason I'm on no health or is there someone behind him? 
Okay. Whoa! Whoa! The sun fell! Why is the sun falling? Horse, 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 horse! Oh, bro, what? I don't know how I survived that. But right now, I have no loot. But I have a heart in my house. And why are there two people outside my home? What are they doing? It seems like they're waiting for me. So there's no way for me to walk in without being noticed. Which means I can't get my heart. Which means I'll still be stuck with negative health. And they're not leaving anytime soon. So it's a good thing I have these two items. I can use the fireworks for a distraction. So when they go to investigate it, I can enter my house. So if I just shoot it over here. Yeah, yeah, you guys can go check it out. Now they're distracted with the fireworks. And I can quickly go in. My house, I can break through the windows. And the heart are... Oh, is there TNT below that? Oh my god, it's everywhere. It's actually everywhere. Which means my house is rigged to blow. And everyone on this server doesn't want me to survive. But you know what? I'm gonna kind of use this against you guys. Because now I have one TNT. If I just quickly break out, I can just place a TNT right there. Now they've finished investigating the fireworks. And they're on their way back to guard my house. And that's why I'm gonna use this. Which means I can shoot the TNT from far away. Way and blow them up. And Zebra's right there. I can't wait for him. There's only one there. Okay, it's lit. And now, oh my god. Yes, I killed him. Oh my god, but then now know I'm around here. But even though I killed him, I haven't gained a heart. And now I have eight minutes to get one or I'm dead. And that's why I'm outside this house. Because there's a player right there. Now he's the weakest player on the server. And the fastest way to gain a heart would be to kill him. Because I'm still on negative health and I only have three more minutes to survive. Okay, I can see him through the windows. But the problem is, he's still in full netherite. So if we were to fight, I'd still be killed. But this is why I'm on the roof. All I need to do is break this glass and place cobblestone right here. In this house, he has a sky roof. And that's where this item comes in. I'm gonna place dripstones above his house. And once he's right below them, I'm gonna drop them, killing him. I just need you to kind of stand in the middle. But luckily, I still have fireworks. So if I just shoot those right there. What are you doing? He actually died! And I've just gained some sort of health, which means killing a player works. So instead, let me just take up this gear. Well, now I have full netherite. Now, just in case this didn't work, I had a backup plan. I was gonna sell off his gear for some hearts. But since I gained some health, who am I kidding? Let's just do it anyway. I'm just gonna place this here, put some armor on, and now I've just taken over someone's shop. I wanna say, if you want full netherite, come to Kip's shop. And now we wait. But since I've only bought myself 20 minutes, I still need a lot of hearts if I wanna get out of negative health. Hello, what's going on, dude? All right, I've got full netherite. I see that heart right there. Give me it. I, I'm willing to trade you a heart. I know you got low health, buddy. I'll give you a heart for the netherite right now. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna give you the full netherite. Oh! My game literally just crashed. Wait, did he just try to kill me? Yo, you just saved my life. But where did he go? It turns out he tried to kill me. He wanted the netherite for free and me off the server. But as soon as he tried to hit me, he crashed. I'm gonna quickly take this netherite because I need all this armor. But he's gonna re-log in this position. Let me just quickly dig a hole. I just need to make this a little bit- He tried! Oh my god! Oh, what? Oh, oh my god, he, he's dead. And I just got so much loot. But bro, that was so random. I just got extremely lucky. Because it turns out when he fell, he landed on one heart. So it only took one hit for me to kill him. But why have I not gained an extra heart? And why is it gone down even more? But look at that, I gained this heart. I can't redeem. And after some testing, I realized the only way for me to gain a heart is if I kill someone with two minutes remaining. Okay? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this? Yes! And I've actually gained some health. So my testing worked. But since I've been killing everyone on the server, the strongest player is looking after me because he thinks I've killed his pet. So let me get a little bit far from where I killed him. The issue right now is not the player himself, but the compass he has. Because that leads to my location at all times. And that's why I'm in this open spot. Yeah, we're not gonna kill him with a casino, guys. What are you even thinking? But for my plan to work, I first need to make a lag machine. And now the lag machine's made. This always freaks me out. But this alone wouldn't help me kill him. That's because this player's been abusing the absorption heart glitch. Meaning right now he has an infinite amount of hearts. And with every trap I have, I won't be able to kill him. And now I've gone back to negative health. That means I have five minutes left. So first, let me quickly steal this. This is mine now. And let me take all this. Okay, this is not enough sugar cane. But the plan is to make a band book. I'm gonna bait the player to kill me. And once he does, he'll pick up the band book and he'll disappear. But I know you're thinking, what's the point of this video then? I'm not dying, but my ult right here is. So I'm gonna keep spamming this all the way through. Tyler, get wrecked. And the first book out of many is complete. And now that it's done, I just need to break it. Problem is, if I pick this up now, I'll be the one to disappear. So instead, just in case anything goes wrong, I'm a fishing rod it over to my ult. And now it works. And I just need to wait on top of my ult account. Because since they're using a compass to find me, it'll lead straight to this. Look at it right there. Is that... 
<gasps> he just killed me and disconnected. Oh my god, that worked. There's no way. There's no way that worked. Bro, what? That was... Why was that easier than I would have thought? I feel like there's so much sus going on. But I don't care about that right now because I'm still on no health. Wait, is that Donny? Wait, is he AFK? Oh my god, you're AFK. Well, I'm sorry about this. And after killing Donny, I bought myself another 20 minutes. What I need is to be inside that shop. But the problem is there's people already there. Because underneath that shop is an alt farm. They're abusing alts for hearts and then selling them off. Yeah, I see the names underground. But how many people are currently in there? All right, fresh hearts here, people. What are you giving me today? I'm gonna take a tunnel that will lead straight into the alt room. Okay, I'm in. Oh, and, oh my I god, they're right up above me. There you go. Buy one, get one free. There you go, Shepard. I can't kill them. Why can't I kill these alts? How does this work? Since I don't own them, I can't even touch them. I might have messed up coming down here. But why has everything gone dark? Hello? I've got a darkness effect, which means there's a warden somewhere around here. What are you doing down here? This shop had security for intruders like me, but I can use the warden against them by using it to kill them. Warden, I have an idea. All I need to do is kind of break all the floor. And the warden's still there? That's cool, that's cool. But if I break the floor now, they'll fall into the pit with the warden and I can finish them off easily. I and what I do is potions. I'm gonna do that. And... Uh, nah, no, no, more potions are required. Uh, oh my god! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Woo! <laughs> no! Well, behind you, Shepard! There's a warden! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! They're all fell in! Oh my god! Okay, I shot him! I shot him! I need to leave it out! And I gained some health! Which means since I hit him once, it counted as my kill. But I've really gotta find out who's still behind this. Because I've got no information. After some investigating, I found out there's a command block. And that command block is keeping me on negative health. And the command block's right there. I can see a bit of it. But there's an overpowered guard surrounding this building. But that's why I have these items. I need some sort of distraction. But what better distraction than the warden? But that's where the milk comes in. I don't need the warden for his strength. I need it for the darkness effect. Because while the guard is blind, I'm gonna rush in and destroy the command block. And there's luckily a warden right there. I haven't really forgot about you. Oh, what's he? Okay, I don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna pretend to ignore that. But I just need to lure the player over to the guard and run straight in. I am kind of see anything more. Let's keep drinking the milk. Keep drinking the milk. And I'm in. And just in case nothing happens, I'm blocking this entire area. But how can I break this? Attribute the infamous quest max health. Base set 99999. Set to Ake. But it ends off. Which means while my hearts were negative, they were going to someone else. And I now know who that was. How do I break? I can't really break this because I'm so low. What are you doing here? Oh my god. What oh my god. Here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. Oh my. Get out. Oh. Oh, you just got two up. Let me drink the milk and leave. But I now know who it is. And he's dead. And I've arrived at the castle. They're all inside right now. But that's why I've grinded for these items. First, I'm going to drink the invis. Now, the plan is to take them out one by one. Okay, I'm going up. I'm going up. I see one person there. And if I get caught in invis, the entire plan fails. So I'm going to quickly drink this strength potion. One down, one down, one down. Oh, my my god, I see another me. person right here. What is happening? Oh! My god. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Sorceress seems extremely strong. He might be the hardest person to fight. Okay, I'm watching We're getting attacked. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. We're getting attacked. Oh my god. It's a flying sword. Oh my god. Flying sword. Oh my god. He didn't hit me once. I need to drink this potion again. Sorceress is the last guy. Maybe in what on earth? Oh my god. Where? Oh my god. And, and she's the last person. Sheep. Yes. I know you've been stealing my hearts. I've been oh, on negative oh, no, health no, no, and it's been you. We can you. speak about this. We can speak about this. We can speak about this. I want to know why. Why? What? It's free, bro. It's free hearts. It's taxes. Too bad. Whoa, holy crap. Strong. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it. And my invis just ran out. Curse for the negative heart is gone. And I've got my revenge. What if you could make one heart the same as one million using only one simple glitch? Well, it first started when I joined the server. In three hours from now, there will be a massive massive fight on the server and the player with the lowest hearts will die and be banned the rules are no scamming or killing i'll see oh, you guys go, later go, 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 go. Go. everyone rushed outside the building finding the best way to survive the competition and with only two hearts i came across this quick come over here come okay over i'm here. here i'm here what no. are you selling all the stuff right here for just a heart Hot, oh, I'm redeeming that right now. Okay, I've redeemed it. Here, take that. Boom. You have to sumo the person at the top and win. I have to be the person at the top and win? Indeed. After climbing up the scaffold, I was one punch away from being overpowered. Fight. Okay. No, it's over. It's over. You're off. You're off. You're off. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, what just happened? 
happened? The sumo competition was a scam and they were out to kill me. They stole my last heart and I got nothing in return. Where are you guys? Wait, it's gone. And there's scaffold on the floor, meaning they destroyed the arena and ran away, leaving no evidence behind. But Loki, you guys kind of forgot about this. So this is kind of mine now. And I'm partially stacked. That means for one heart, I got three items. I'm going to kind of make use of this. I'm going to turn this into red all the way. And now this is my shop. If I can sell these three items for three hearts, I'll have made a profit. And after waiting two minutes, someone finally arrived. Hey, Quiff. What you, what you selling today? Okay, I have these three items here. How about this? I give you one heart for that netherite sword on the left. Deal. Okay, that's easy deal. There you go. There you go. Oh my. Okay, yeah, thank you. With the netherite sword now sold, I officially gained my heart back. But I still had two more items. Like, seriously, why is no one else coming? The sun's gone down. After waiting for an eternity, Nimsy came back. Hey, Quiff, I'm back. How did you gain so much health in a short amount of time? I mean, I have my ways. So what do you want to buy? I need the, those netherite boots over there. I think those would be nice. Okay, one heart. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, sick. Okay, perfect. All right, later. Oh, my. All right, perfect. And after waiting another full day, no one else arrived at my shop. I got two hearts. So let me do the chest plate and let me just burn this place. Because it doesn't seem to be working. I'm now an arsonist. But my hearts were low compared to other players. So I had to figure out how they were gaining hearts. Yo, what am I hearing? This netherite sword for guess how many hearts? Seven. So Oh! Just seven. What was that? The items he was buying for me, he was selling at his own shop for triple the price. They're actually buying off him. That explains it. The reason no one came to my shop is because he had all the customers. I really want to kill Nimsy, but he's with everyone right now. Well, good thing I have these hearts. I've recently learned of a bug that's only possible if you withdraw one heart. And that's why you're here, my beautiful alt account. I'm going to give you one heart and redeem the other one. For this glitch to work, I need to kill my alt. All I do is put TNT here, make sure it's enough to kill me and i'll watch from here and now i'm on my alt account and i'm standing on the tnt since i have four hearts i only have three tries i need this command ready as soon as i light the tnt i'm gonna run the command and freeze my game causing a glitched heart bang frozen but you can hear the tnt i see the heart right there and i've got it but there's only one way to test this i remove my heart and it's there and i can't stack them let's go now this heart is broken all the damage that killed my alt account is inside this heart meaning when redeemed it'll blow the player up and nimsy's still there. I'm coming for you. I need a way to give Nimsy the heart without being caught. Toby, Toby, Toby. Hello. Do you still have your collection of heads? Yeah. Can I get Barnix? How much are you paying for that? Uh, this one heart right here. I'd like that. Here you go. Okay, perfect. Uh, good do business with you. Now that I've secured someone's head, it was time to go fully undercover. Nimsy's here. Nimsy's Yo, here. Bionic, what's up? Oh, you um, want something from my shop? You want a chest plate? Here, uh, let me let me get one real quick. That'll be one heart. Redeem Thank that. Thank you. Redeem that. All right, I'm just going to redeem this heart now. Love you, Bionic. Nimsy was blown up. That actually worked. And my inviz kind of ran out. But I've got 19 hearts. Oh, I'm rich. I'm so rich. Now I have some hearts. I built my next plan. And I was going to make a profit of 100 hearts. And welcome to chest roulette. But I'm going to put two hearts in each shulker. And in the yellow ones, put dirt. With this, I'm able to turn one heart into 10. Quiff, I followed the hole and ended up here. Uh, do you have heart on you? I do. Now, welcome to chest roulette. Right. You see this gold block over here? Yes. Your aim is to get it closer to the red shulkers as much as possible. And if you land on the red shulker, you get what's inside. But if you get it to the yellow, you just get dirt. And you have 18 hearts now. Perfect. Your aim is to get oh it as my. close to the red as possible. Oh! Oh. Yeah, you get to take what's inside here. And your hearts are going up. Perfect. And we're off again. Okay. Can you be two for two? Oh. You're close to the yellow. With Emo a little suspicious, I couldn't make this scam too obvious. So I made him win all the hearts. Oh, you won! Yes. Congrats. You've won every heart in the machine. And your hearts are climbing a lot right now. Okay, Quiff. I'm going to go now. All right, yeah. Yeah, tell people how good this machine is. Well do. See you later. With Emo now spreading a rumor of the best way to gain hearts, everyone lined up to my machine. And this is where the real plan started. Hey, Quip, Emo told me about this thing you have for hearts. Yeah, yeah, no, this is exactly what I mean. How many hearts do you have in your inventory? I have 24 hearts. Yo, pff, oh, you're going all 24? Perfect. And it's going off. And you kind of got dirt. You're pretty unlucky. With the first player now scammed, I had 30 hearts. And I was making so much progress. The competition was mine to win. Let me claim all these hearts we have 10 12 14 we now have 45 hearts together which yo did i drop them where did they go everyone that entered the casino scammed me they gave me fake hearts which disappear after three minutes meaning i was back to one where did my heart quit uh, you stole all my hearts but no uh, what do you mean ah, i i realized it was you 
who killed me. Nimsy found out, and now he's after my life. The problem is I only have one heart, so he could punch me and I'd die. This won't make up for it. Good, good meeting you. Yeah, uh... I'm just gonna do this. Well, well, where do you think you're going? I'm gonna eat this. What? Since this machine is a scam, I had a button that would erase all evidence by blowing the entire place up. Oh, perfect. I heard it all blown up. Nimsy was blown up. With all the evidence erased, Nimsy died in the crossfire. And since he was caught scamming, he was banned, meaning my plan worked. But I'm still on one heart. And there's only two people that currently have my hearts. And if I want to get revenge, I have to be sneaky. And Kipley, that's why I need you. What? For what? Since there's a lot of eyes on me, I can't break the rules. But I can hire someone to. I see you don't have much hearts. Yeah, it's a bit rough. I have more than you, though. Well, let's team up. I can make it so we have an infinite amount of hearts. Wait, what? How? I just need you to create a shop and sell certain hearts. I can do that. Kind of goodbye to you again. Take that. And let me watch from a distance. Blow. Paste. Pause. I think it's going off. Oh. The heart. I've got it. All right, Kipley. Yeah. All right, take this heart. Just don't redeem it. That's the heart you need to sell. I'm telling you right now. You redeem uh... it, you're dead. With Kipley now creating a shop and putting the deadly heart into circulation, the two players were now split. And I could kill the other player. My target is inside there. And I don't know exactly what she's doing. But I'm still on one heart. A fight against her would lead to my death. That's where you kind of come in? Run. Run for my life. Are you following? I can't tell if he's following. He's there. After leading the warden back to the house, I splashed it with invis, making him the perfect assassin. The warden's killing her. What is it down there? What? How did they even get there? How, how many hearts does she have? Oh, she died. Perfect. Warden, you've done a great job. Where did she die? Where did she die? Oh, perfect. I just got 22 hearts. I'm going to quickly leave. I was never here. With my kill successful, it was all down to Kipley. I'll give you this heart, Ben. Okay, it is a very special heart. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Kipley, Kipley, Kipley. What? Has Emo taken the hearts? Yes. That's all I needed to know. Perfect. Any second Emo was about to die. And I had to take all my hearts back. It just died! Emo was blown up! I mean the heart worked then. I've got 57 hearts! But using this, I'm gonna become immortal. But now with Emo dead, Kipley thinks I framed her. And she's after revenge. Because in 20 minutes, if she can't clear her name, she'll be banned. Quip, where are you? You're oh! Camera. I know you're in here! She's guarding my house? I have 57 hearts. But Kipley now has over 200. And I'll die if I try fight her. But who said anything about me fighting her? Skizzy. Quiff. Uh, I see you've got over 300 hearts. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you 57 right now. Ooh, okay. All I right, need you right. to go and kill Kipley. Because she's after my life. Okay, I'll do it. With you and your army? Bro, I'll bring my army. We'll right. have her dead, bro. That's exactly what I like to hear. With Skizzy now on my side, I had a righteous reason to kill Kipley. And he was on board. Oh my god, his army's getting ready. And they look stacked. Kipley stands no chance. Now you might be thinking, Quiff, you're back on one heart. Why did you give the hearts to him? I'm not stupid. I could easily kill Kipley, but I needed Skidzy on my side. That's because under his house, he has a vault full of hearts and I need to enter. And I'm just gonna walk straight in because he's not here. I don't know exactly what's going on. So if I was to just uh, shoot that, oh, and that opened. So let's quickly make my way there. Oh yes, this was the jackpot. Skidzy has the most protected base and I had to lure him away from his house just so I could sneak in. And I'm gonna take all these hearts. But I can't really fit them in my inventory. But I have an idea. Am I able to use the pause glitch to absorb 1 million hearts? Well, time to test it. Okay, I've just redeemed a heart. I don't know what's going on, but I hear a bunch of sound. I can see my heart going down here. My heart's gone down one, but I'm still stuck on one. I have 15 hearts, but it only shows one, which means I think it works. And after abusing the glitch, I became immortal. This is either gonna fail or it's gonna work. Wait, I'm taking no damage. I'm actually taking no damage. Okay, uh, just in case, I don't know how many hearts I've actually redeemed. But yo, this is kind of crazy. And I've got nothing, no resistance, nothing. Inside my one heart, there's a million. And I kind of need to leave now because Kipley died, which means they're heading back here. Quiff, I'm tracking you. We're gonna kill you. Wait, how is he tracking me? My heart. It turns out Skidzy put trackers inside his heart. And now since I've redeemed them, he can constantly track me. And it's turning night again, which means I only have to survive for 20 minutes and the competition's over. And that's why I'm outside this nether pole. Because on the opposite side of this is the nether roof. I'm gonna lure his army inside and trap them here. I should wear some gear though. Either way, I have the TNT and the flint and steel. And after waiting two minutes, they arrive. Skidzy sends us off to you, Quiff. We're gonna get you whether you like it or not. Well, you catch me first. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys are kind of far. Yeah, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Don't no. go in there. Don't. Yeah, you guys are not gonna catch me. Get back here, He's literally one shot. I hope you're, you're all trapped. Ah! Wait, no. <laughs> Yo, 
are you guys actual idiots? And I'm out. But Skids is still left. But with his army in the nether roof, he couldn't find me alone. And I had to just wait for the competition to end. The competition is now over me at the arena? Well, just a shot of a powder I am. I'm just going to go in with this and a stone axe. The competition has now ended. You guys will fight it out. The player with no heart will be banned. We're off. Die! No. Oh it's my die. god. Everyone focus quick. Yeah, everyone, everyone focus. Oh, why are you focusing kill me? He's a scammer. I'm a one heart. He's still going to kill me. No, no, no. You're no, one. No. You're one. Yes. No. I did. Oh. Coming back. Get away from me. Why are you not? No. No. This is insane. It is sucks to suck. Stop. Oh, wait, my heart's not even regening. I don't even know why, but this is overpowered. We killed everyone, and I was the survivor. This crook admin stole all my hearts, leaving me with one. And to get revenge, I must first uncover his identity and then take all of his remaining hearts until he's banned. And here's how. I've spawned in and I'm falling. No, 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 no. What? Bro, what's this? Wait, wait, wait. If you can't escape your band, we're watching you. All those cameras. This prison is rigged with cameras. They're currently banging on if I'll survive or not. Watching me escape was a show to them. If this is a show, there must be somewhere around here. Since the outside of this prison looks like a Rubik's Cube, maybe the prison will slowly change? Hint, it's on the floor. Wait, wait, Bionic might be helping me. Maybe it involves mining? Wait, I've got mining fatigue. This means I can no longer mine out of here. Okay, I'm gonna right click the floor. Oh, oh my god, a shulker box. It seems like a shulker box was camouflaged as the floor. I've got a steak and some planks. I can easily make a crafting- Oh my god, wait, that was bad. If I made a crafting table there, the blocks I had remaining would have been useless. Crafting table like that? Place it down? Use the rest to use a boat. Because using the boat, I can escape. Oh my god, I'm out. That's sick. Two more left until I'm dead? Okay, on to the next room. I've seemed to lost the heart. And I'm in a massive lava pool. What is this? And there's more cameras. There must be something. Just like the camouflage shulker. Okay, another shulker. And I've got a bunch of loot this time. It seems like I've got 19 blocks. Now use 19 blocks, I don't think I can reach the end. I've got 40 seconds to on one heart. With the resources I have, I could make a flying machine. Okay, I place that there. I place a slime block there. I can use a boat to get up. That's smart. And I capture this boat if I can. But the problem starts now. Okay, I've placed them both like that. And I place a slime block. If I just place a sticky piston right here, if I just power it like that and break that, I pull it aside. Because now I can place the sticky piston like this. Place a redstone block there. Redstone block there. Place a boat. Because as soon as this goes, I'll have to jump in. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so smart. I think I need to jump over this. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was insane. Now this just needs to reach the end. Oh, I escaped the second room. Oh my god, what is this? This entire thing's a minefield. Final room, okay. And I'm on one hot. I've got a high advantage now, so I can see anything around here. If I just put it there, jump here for a shulker, please, please. Okay, we've got an ender pearl and a fishing rod. Oh my god. I'm gonna save these because I don't know what they do. Oh, I might have an idea. Do both activate pressure plates? There's nothing I can see right now. I'm gonna try another lap around here. After running around on the minefield, I finally found the exit. 20 seconds left. Okay, what do I do? I see the exit right there. I can end a pool, but if I end a pool, I'll die. I have a bad idea. He's a fishing rod. This is gonna be very risky, but let me fish rod the boat. And the aim is jump to jump. And the boat's right there. I can fish rod the boat and pull it closer. One more. Oh my god, okay. The admin was smart. If I didn't bring the boat along, I wouldn't have been able to escape. And I end up in that corner. Oh my god. I'm free on one heart. Now was the time to find the admin abuser. With no clues, I decided to steal all the cameras from the prison and start to plant them in people's houses so I could watch them 24-7. This looks like a good spot. And honestly, what if I just hide a camera right there? And now if I look inside, oh my god, I should be able to see the entire area. And now that I had the first camera working, I had to go find another house. There's no one around here. So if I just put one here, and honestly, one downstairs too. And now I have two cameras set up. So if the admin walks in at any point, I can catch him in 4K when he goes into creative mode. Honestly, that's a really good angle. With this angle, I can see the entire of the house. But I've only got six more left. Oh my god, he's there. I just run away. And now that I'm in a safe spot, I can see exactly what he's doing. If you're the abusing admin, I'm going to catch you right now. I spent five minutes watching him to see if he'd cheat in some hearts. But it turns out he was legit. And the last one will just go here. And with that, I'm good. Now I have eyes all over the server. Okay, I'm watching these guys. So far, she doesn't look sus. Which means Kai's legit. Okay, he's not doing anything right now. No. He broke the camera! Wait, that's that's bad. That's bad. He's noticed. At this moment, the plan could go haywire. If they let anyone know, the admin's gonna go into hiding. That's hot. That's a heart right there. Are they cheating in hearts right now? Why are the hearts not burning? Wait, okay, that just seems like a normal trade. After watching people for a while, no one was acting suspicious. Was I gonna stay on one heart forever? Wait, 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 wait. How has he got that many hearts? Whoa, 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 have we caught the admin? Have we caught the admin already? Is that an infinite amount of hearts in the chest? He's thrown out over 100 hearts right now. With all the evidence 
evidence I needed, I caught the abusing admin. It's the next day, but I think Donnie's gonna log off any second, which is good. I'll make my way there. I spent two days learning the pattern of Donnie. When he logs on and when he logs off. And in two minutes, he's gonna log off to grab food. And that's when I'll strike. He just left. Okay, that's prime time to go in. I need to rig this entire place before he comes. Donnie takes a minute to bring the food back to his desk. I need to, I need to put all TNT in this house. From what I saw on the camera, he was standing right here. I fill this place up with TNT and I just leave a pressure plate there. And let me leave so I don't get caught in the crossfire. So whenever Donnie logs back on, he's gonna blow up and the admin will now be dead. Oh, I blew up! Oh my god! Wait, oh my god, that was so smart! He's completely dead! And we got an extra heart! That was a little too easy, but it's loot right here. I got 15 hearts from that! I'm full netherite! Oh my god, what is this note? It turns out Donnie wasn't the admin. And now since Donnie died, admin's gone into hiding, which will make my chances to find him so much harder. The thing is, I still have my cameras right now. And to bring the admin out of hiding, I have a plan that involves a shop. And the thing is, I'm not selling this netherite gear. This is just to bait them. Because the real plan is to cause chaos on this server. If I can inflate the hearts currency, the admin's sure to come out because he's gonna steal all the hearts. And what I'm gonna be selling? I'm gonna sell players' houses. Because when a customer comes up, he's gonna pick a number between one and nine. Wherever he picks, that's the house he's gonna buy. And I'm gonna steal it and rebuild it in the place he wants. And that's how you create chaos. Are you selling that netherite armor? Uh, no. No, I'm not. And I was just to bait you. Listen. Oh, I see you got hearts in there. Okay, nice. So what I'm selling is a house. Pick a number between one and nine. Nine. I'm going to give you a spruce house and it's going to cost you 15 hearts. All right, you got it. Just come back in a day. Okay. Once the deal was complete, my job now was to steal a house. But how could I do that without being noticed? So this is the house I really need to take. And it's a big house. Like I thought, Kipley didn't notice this, so I need to break this, first of all. From watching Kipley, this is about the time she gets off her PC. So I have one hour to take this entire house before she hops back on. And now it really starts. Oh my god. I just didn't mind this entire thing. It really doesn't even look like I made a dent yet. Oh my god, I need to continue all this. With 30 minutes left, I continue breaking this entire house down. And before she could even log on, it was complete. I stole her shulkers, but I don't think it matters. Alright, let me leave this place before anyone notices. Following the cords Kai gave me, I started to build her house. But little did she know it was actually stolen. Half of it seems to be done. This is just taking a lot longer than I would have thought. But luckily, I have this screenshot. Because if I didn't remember how it looked, this plan wouldn't work. But honestly, I'm pretty proud of this. It looks good, but I, I really don't know where I lost the books. Wow, this is amazing. I know, right? All right, follow me. Th this is your new house. Let me know if anyone says anything. Yeah, uh, good luck. Enjoy your new house. All I needed was for Kipley to see the house. Because when she'd realize it's her own house, a massive fight would start, causing the admin to intervene. Oh my god, you stole my house. Where? Where's the fight going down? Oh my god, they're right there. They're right there. They're right there. I'm not leaving my own house. I paid for it. Oh, good. This is no, great. Get out. Oh my god. Wait, are they fighting? Right this is my now. This is my Oh house. my god. Oh my god. I should probably. Okay, yo, before they call my name, I was never here. This is. Oh my god. Before she said, she said my name. And I'm gonna disappear. Oh, this is perfect. With two people now fighting, I only had to do one more thing. Then the admin would intervene. Okay, the next thing involves this house. Oh, it looks like it was already digged down for me. So I'm gonna give him a birthday present that's gonna be explosive. Boom. That should be done. I just place this here. I put a sign. Happy birthday. Luffler from Toby. And the reason I said Toby is because the last day I've been viewing this house, Toby's been going in and out. So it makes the perfect alibi for him trying to kill Luffler. Oh my god. Luffler, just open it. Hey, I left me a present. He did leave you a present, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, perfect. He's calling him out now. Now that the entire server was at war, I caused enough chaos for the admin to join. So I could finally learn his identity. Before I could see who it was, the server closed. Why did the server close? Why am I back to one heart? And I've got nothing in my inventory. It turns out the admin did a rollback. All the progress I made was gone. And there was no way for me to figure out who the abusing admin was. Can we get a loot back? Oh, wait, wait, someone's throwing stuff. Oh my God, wait, I, I can't move though, I can't move. Which house is this? After seeing a corner of the admin, I quickly ran to the house to find out his true identity. Oh my God, Zetro's the admin. Let me get out of here before he realizes I'm here. Now I know it's Zetro, I have an idea how to kill him. First, I need to secure his head. The only person to have Zetro's head is Cycrum. He's here. I've got the invis. Oh my god, wait, how did he get four shot? Okay, I now have Zetro's head. If you have two heads of a player, you can combine them to make shared health. So two accounts will have one health bar. How can I bait Zetro to click on his head? I need a new plan. With the admin cheating to get hearts, he's been going to every casino and gambling. Now, if I could bait him into coming into my casino, I could get him to click on his head. And for this plan to work, I need my ult. 
because I'm not going to use my main account. But to make him click the button, I'm going to go underneath my machine and place the head under the button. I'll place this in this corner. And now I just need to hide my ult in a corner so he doesn't know. The reason I need Zetro to lose all his hearts before he can go into crave mode and get them back, I'll kill my ult, meaning killing him. Yo, what's up? Uh, how many hearts are you going in? Three stacks. That's fine yeah. with me. I'm going to go for red. It's off. What's it going to be? Oh, please. It's lime. And it's going off again. These are three stacks worth, so you get three tries. It's oh, black. No. Okay, what's it going to be? Oh, oh, you've lost three times. What you didn't know was before he came in, I rigged the entire machine to lose. All right, Griff, you just stay here. I'm going to go grab more hearts. This isn't over, okay? I'm linked. I'm linked. I'm linked. Look at my hearts now. Now, if I kill this account right quick, please tell me it works. He's dead. Zetro tried. Zetro tried. Okay, I do it again. I just keep killing. It's working. Why am I dying? Oh my god, he's an idiot. I just keep doing the same thing. And he's, he's just constantly dying. After spending three minutes killing my account over and over again, he was finally on one heart. Yeah, I've got one heart, which means this is the final kill. That account's gone. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I got him. The admin abuse is gone. Subscribe for infinite hearts. This server saw all my hearts leaving me with one. And in five hours, if I want to stay on this server, I must fight the person who they call immortal. And here's why. If you guys can land this MLG, you guys will gain a heart. And Quiff, you of all people need these hearts. So, I really uh, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who wants to go first? Me. Me, 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 me. Oh my, you guys. Oh, go, go, go. Dick, I okay. I don't have anything Quiff, to, I don't have anything to MLG with. Not really my problem. There you go. And Wait, I pulled it. I've got 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 it. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? What is this? Where am I? Where? Oh my God. Oh my, wait, how am I in the end? I'm in the middle of nowhere. It turns out the MLG competition was fake. They abandoned me in the end. And now every minute I'll be losing one heart. It seems like this is completely void. Okay, it doesn't matter. What do I have in my inventory? Oh, none of this helps. If I start the platform out, will I find something? Okay, I see nothing. I'm completely stranded. And I've lost a heart, no. If I make a crafting table, I can think of multiple ways to escape. Oh my God, I can make another portal. But just as I start building, I remembered you can't use another nether port in the end. And I've just wasted three obsidian. Okay, I can't be wasting resources right now. If I can make a platform, I can summon endermans. And then potentially get an ender pearl. And now I'm on one heart. This is bad. Come on, please spawn. I actually need so much to spawn right there. Or I'll lose my last heart and I'll be banned. The end is currently banned. So that's the entire reason I'm losing one heart every minute. Even if I was forcefully put here. Perfect. Exactly who I wanted. A pearl! Oh my god! Yes! Now I can be risky. I can throw the pearl into the void and maybe land on a block. Or I'll fall all the way down and I've lost the pearl. Wait! Oh my god, I have an idea. I make blaze powder. I make an eye of ender. I can make an inner chest. Place it! And please! Oh, heart! A heart! Oh my god, I now have an extra heart. Okay, what else do I have? Um, let me put all this in my inventory. And oh my god, I've lost my heart again! If I didn't find that heart, I was 10 seconds away from dying. And it would have been all over. Bro, I have a piston. Hey, build this. So how does this? None of this works. Oh my god, I've just got an insane idea. Since I'm currently in the middle of the end void, and I don't have enough blocks to bridge out, what if I somehow make a flying machine? and escape using that. I have like 50 seconds before I die. Since I've already built out this way, this is gonna be the safest option to build. So wasting no time, I built the flying machine. As soon as I break this, it's gonna go off. I'm off, I'm flying away. Oh my God, I'm leaving the island behind. After traveling a hundred blocks, I saw my escape. Okay, one second, oh my God. I left my alt account in the trap. So if they came to check up on me, they'd see I'm right there. Using the remaining time I had, I had to come up with a plan to get infinite hearts. So I needed to collect resources, which involves mining this tree. I got five logs. I need more wood, so let's mine down this entire forest. And now I have a lot of wood. And it's good because I actually see no one around right now. So before I get spot, I'm going to quickly make two escape rooms. And using those escape rooms, I'm going to gain an infinite amount of hearts. This has to be the best plan. Now this looks like a normal box. How is this an escape room? I'm going to place buttons everywhere till this entire room is filled with buttons. And just like so, it's done. All I need to do now is block this off. The customer will pick a room and then he'll have four minutes to escape it. But little does he know while he's escaping the room, I'm inside his house stealing everything he has. So when he wins and wants the reward, it's all his loot. And instead, I'm going to be getting the hearts he has. And since I can't be caught, you're going to be the shopkeeper. I didn't really think about how I'm going to take this guy back. Okay, we're finally back. Let me, let me open this up. In you go. Okay, you're completely stuck now. I should put two hoppers down each side and use the signs to explain the room. No, I didn't tell you, Summer. If they pick the easy room, I'm gonna steal their loot from their house and give the items back to get hearts. But if they pick the hard room, there's a chance that lava will spawn and it'll kill them. Let me take their hearts. 
All I need to do now is wait for our first customer. Oh my god, is that Barnick? So this is the escape room? Since Barnick's gone into the easy room, that gives me five minutes to find his house and steal everything from it. I don't have much time. Food? Bro, I'll take the food. Oh my god, the jackpot. I've just got full OP netherite. I need to rename this because I don't have much time. Yo, this is a scam, bro. No, it has to be a scam. This is literally not working. I've renamed all the gear. And since there's two minutes left, can I find anything else in this house? Oh my god! Bro, what is it blew up? Oh my god. Wait, what? Did oh, Creeper! Creeper, you're insane! Since the Creeper blew up, it uncovered a secret chest where he was storing his hearts. Okay, but two seconds left before he escapes. There's some on the roof. I, I, I didn't even see these. There we go. I threw it all. So when he comes out, you'll think the villager threw it. And now I just wait. He's right there. He's about to finish any second. Oh my gosh, wait. When did this open? Oh my god, wait. We got some armor and... Oh, we got both our hearts. Let's go! Oh my god, he doesn't know it's his own loot! With Barnick now telling everyone about the escape room, now's the time I really get hearts. Because someone's gonna instantly pick the hard room and they'll die. Meaning I'm up so many hearts. That's Nipsey! Wait, I gotta give three hearts? Alright, fine, you know what, fine. He's giving the three hearts, this is good. <gasps> the door is open! Oh my god, this guy doesn't wait, know! Wait. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> no quiz! <laughs> Okay, I, I need to escape this place. And I've got these hearts. I have six hearts now. The problem was the escape rooms only worked once. So I had to come up with a new plan. And in search of my new plan, I uncovered something important. Welcome to this meeting, man. Hello, you are, you ready? There's a command block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So okay, basically. so as you can see, what we have here is uh, it's a command block. We're going to load up this command block with some commands. We're going to spawn them and then the immortal player is going to kill them. Oh okay. my god. It turns out they were cheating. They're using NPCs to exploit infinite hearts. So the immortal player has an infinite heart generator. So it's like a, a player, a new player every single time. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my like god, that. this is bad. If they can do this, that means all the progress I'm gonna make is for nothing. Okay, I have an idea that involves my ult. So I have a bunch of TNT and before they come back, I'm gonna blow up their house. Because once the house blows up, it's gonna cause a distraction making them run away from the command block. Say goodbye to your house. And now I hide a little bit. They've been alert. Uh, we gotta go now. They gone perfect. Okay, I've gained two hearts, which is good. Since I'm not up, I can't activate the NPCs. So instead, I'm gonna try break this command block. I'm gonna try to break it the same way you break bedrock. And I've got one shot at this because they're probably on their way back right now. Put this here, please, 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 please. Please, I've broken it. They're on their way back right now, but I can kill two birds with one stone by quickly digging a pitfall and voila, it's done. So now when they rush back to the command block, they'll activate the piston, making them fall to their death. I'll gain a heart while ruining their plans. What? The command block's got the command block's Where is it? You need to get, Ooh, you need to get the immortal player right now to investigate this guy. Yeah. Oh my god. No, no, they're not gonna fall for oh, it. I'll see if I can find the command Wait. block. Oh Who's my it? god. Oh my god. I need to get out of here before he comes back. Since I've bought myself an extra hour, I'll move on to my next plan. After overhearing a conversation about Nesta wanting to gamble, I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to gain fast hearts because he's one of the people that has the most hearts on the server and he sided with the immortal player. So if I can steal his hearts, I could become as strong as him. So I invited him over. All right, let's see some gambling. Okay, yo. You were supposed to be in the hole. I won't speak about it if you don't. Well, let, let, let's just, you know, ignore what just happened and uh, let's get straight to it. Okay, okay, how many hearts you have? I have 80 hearts on me right now. 80? Come on, come on, come on. Give it to okay, me. Okay, what's it going to be? Yes. Oh, I just lost 40 hearts. Yeah, I'm going all in. Oh, oh wait. Emerald? Oh, no! no! When Nesta now giving me his cheated hearts, I was slowly getting stacked, but I still needed more. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go now. Quick, okay, please, guess... you have to help me. Oh please, my god. Please, please, it's okay. I don't have a lot of time. The immortal player, he wants my hearts, okay? I don't have that many. He wants over a hundred, okay? I need to win hearts fast. I learned what the immortal player was trying to do. He was collecting tax on people's hearts. And if this continued, he'd have over 1,000 hearts by the time I fight him. I had to rig this machine so I could take all her hearts for myself. Uh, yeah, I could do red. You've put your hearts in and off we go. I'm rooting oh, for you. Please. I don't like the immortal player. Oh, please, please, I need this. Oh my. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave. This is not working. No, no, stop, 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 stop. With Kipley about to leave, I had to persuade her to stay. All this plan would backfire and I'd be nowhere. Okay, I guarantee if you put it on black, you'll win. All right, I'm trying. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you on this. Okay, off we go. Off we go. Come on. Come on, please. This time. I'm rooting for you. It's oh! black. I told You're you. Right! It's black. You are so right. Oh my god. How many do you have? I have 89 hearts. I need 100, but I don't know, man. This is still too risky. I think I'm going to go to the building competition instead. But thank you. This has been great help. The plan worked. Kipley trusted me enough to tell me what she was going to do. And that involved going to a heart building competition. Now, if I go there, I can triple my hearts using a secret method, of course. All right, and there you go. I've given you my heart. Now that I've joined the building competition, I could go forward with my real plan, which was to make an infinite death trap machine. So when they check it out, they'll be trapped in infinite death loop and i'll be gaining all my hearts 
The death trap's looking pretty good so far. Whenever they right click the bed, they've set the spawn, which will activate the trap. Lava will pour out and it'll infinitely kill them. And when they respawn, they're at the bed, doing it all over again. Lava will burn all this wood. Okay, there we go. It's fixed. I've only got one lava bucket though. While Kipley's building them up, I'm gonna go get more lava. Subscribe! Okay, I don't have much time. Take all this. It should be enough. Time to go back up. I need to sneakily wake my way back. Fill this all with lava, and it's done. One of you actually followed the prompt. Just to give me the benefit of the doubt, I'll take a look at this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's a hologram. Like, if you go inside here, click on the bed, both of you guys. Ah, okay, I'm going, bro. Click on the bed. Whoa. Oh, my God. No, yes. No. Yes. What? Perfect. This is good. This is good. This is good. I took all their hearts, but before they were banned, they disconnected. Wait, they're right there. What are they planning? Guys, remember the plan, okay? If, if, if anything happens, you guys need to give me your hearts before you guys die, okay? That's the plan. <laughs> Wait, what? Forget it. It turns out Linux made a death loop. So when we fight, he's going to be cheating by taking all their hearts mid-fight. Now, I had to find out exactly where this was and do it myself. Oh my god, I found it. So when they die, I'll be getting hearts midway. And he'll be so surprised. Alright, so basically we go in and do Linux death loop. So since he told us to do so. Oh my god, I barely escaped that. The five hours are up, Quiff. It's over. <laughs> You have to fight me. Come here. I am. I, I know over. I know why they call you it's... the immortal player. Yeah, I'm not scared why? of you. I, I overheard your conversation. With who? And I've replaced the lava oh. with mine. So I'm getting my hearts now. You're going to die any second. One more hit. Wait. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. I just killed the most immortal player on the server. And my hearts are still going up. This is, this is kind of broken. Oh my god. Subscribe right now. I'm becoming invincible. If you could buy immortality, would you kill everyone to get it? Or would you leave it alone thinking it's a curse? Well, it first started when I joined the server. This is the potion of immortality. The first person to bring me 40 hearts gets the potion and gets to become immortal. You guys only have two hours, so go. Okay, get I'm going. Hearts. What? Oh, my. Oh, no. oh, what? Two hours? With a way to become immortal? Everyone rushed outside the building trying to find the best way to gain 40 hearts. And that's when I came across this. Yo, wait, what? What's going on over here? There's a shop. Sourceless, my guy. What are you selling over here, man? Some full netherite armor. And they're trading together. I see hearts in Kipley's hand. And wait, I just have to MLG down here? Certainly. And if you go down to the bottom and land, the netherite's all yours. Oh my! Yo, 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 yo. Hey, uh, I made it. Do I get the, the armor? Yo, yo, I knew someone was up. Wait. Kippy was killed. I've just caught a murder. People were breaking the rules. And I saw a murder right in front of me. There's still netherite gear there. But wait, one part of the trap didn't actually work. If I can reach that, did that, that didn't work. Oh, you idiot. Oh, wait a second. Yo, that was, how did he fail that? Either way, I've kind of got to go down. And, oh, loot. I've got, I've got three hearts. And I've just acquired myself full netherite. Which means currently I have four hearts. But I still need 36 more. Okay, let me get out of here. Before they come running back to check for their loot. But now I'm in a safe spot. I have an idea. Using this heart, I found a glitch that's able to duplicate one heart. And for that, I need this VPN. Now, I'm currently in England, and I need to set my distance to the other side of the world, which is Australia. And if I activate this now, my game should be extremely laggy like this. Yo, the block hasn't dropped. That's exactly what I needed. And another test, if I eat this steak right now, it shows 64 steaks, which means I'm lagging the game so much, any item I use will still stay in my inventory. So let me test this. If I try to redeem this one heart right now, okay, it's redeemed, but it's not disappeared from my inventory. If I do it again, oh my, and again. Okay, I'm still spamming, but I can't get any more. That's completely fine. But I've now fooled the game into thinking I have an infinite amount of hearts. I don't know how long these last, but wait, I only have two hearts now? And after waiting two minutes, the hearts have left my inventory like i don't even have any of them but that's cool this means i can only fool someone for two minutes before they realize i've given them fake hearts and they're after my life now if i remove one heart and i have it in my hand now i need to test if this is only a glitch on my side or this entire plan won't work yo what's this if you click this button out of this dispenser will dispense either coal or hearts uh how much does it cost one heart there's the heart i just clicked the button right thank you my good sir yeah boom oh i just got two hearts oh nice that, that's all i really need to do um that was a heart yep. on your screen that I gave you, right? Yeah. That's all I need to know. Uh, yeah, good luck on your shop. But with the test now proven, it seems like the glitch works for everyone. And I've just successfully acquired two hearts. Quiff, I know what you did. You're dead? The hearts must have disappeared. And now she knows my secret. She's after my life. And I guess that's why. Kipley. What? Oh, you're kind of low. But it doesn't what matter. Do you mean? Take these two hearts and I want you oh. to go and kill Chip. Okay, that's easy enough. There you go. Stack up. Yes. And I expect the loot to be split. Okay, that's fine. That's some nice armor you got there. Can I see what you 
god. Yeah, it is. Psych, I'm sorry. You're gonna die. No, come here. <laughs> Can't play kill them. We're stuck getting anything, bro. This is mine now. There's no way you just stole the gear, right? I mean, I'm gonna take this, but Kipley? Turns out I was double crossed. Kipley stole all of the loot and wasn't planning on splitting them. But it worked out either way because now no one knew my secret. If I redeem this, I now have five hearts. But since a lot of people are close to 40 hearts right now, the immortality potion is going further and further away. So the best thing I can do is put the fake hearts into circulation. And that's why I'm here. Because not only do I need to put the hearts in circulation, I need a way for people to lose their hearts to make the race more even. And that's why I'm using a casino. But there's one thing I've noticed. These are the fake hearts. Hearts. And this is a real heart, and you could tell the difference. The life of a player is missing, meaning this small detail may expose my entire plan. Either way, I'm gonna put one heart in here, one heart in here, one in here, and boom! I now have two minutes to transform my four hearts into 20 before I'm exposed for scamming. Hello, hello, Chris. Hey, Sauceless, listen, we don't have much time. Do you have hearts on you? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna kinda need them. If you click that button, it will start and it'll randomly land on the chest. Now, inside the chest is one heart. Alright, then, you know, I'll take you up on that. And if I click this right now, it's gonna Come go on, off luck. and it can land on any single one. You Come got on, one heart. heart. Congrats. Do you want to go again? You know what? I think I will. Here you go. Here's another heart. Uh, yeah, you can't gamble with a heart you just gained. Okay, we're gonna go again. What's it gonna be? It could Where be anything in these chests. It could be one Come heart. On. It could be two Come hearts. On. Oh, congrats. Ooh. You've just gained um, another heart. That's always good. Doors right there. You have to leave. Like, so. Oh. Yeah. Good luck in the race. Oh. Okay. With now acquiring two real hearts, I was slowly closing in on the gap. And then another player arrived. So, Quiff, what do you have for me today then? Do you have hearts in your hand right now? I need them. I need to see them. I ha I, I do. I do. Here's, here's the proof. All right. Give me give me two. Two hearts. Yeah. Okay. See that? And then as soon as I click this button, wherever it lands on, you'll be able to gain. Okay. Anything. You can go from one heart okay. to five hearts. I know you want to win the race. Kind of got like the oh. worst thing inside. Fine. I need to win. I, win. I need to win those hearts back. Come on. All right, all right. Boom. You've got one more try. This is your last try. I only give people two tries. Come on, please. Come on. I believe please. in you. I believe. I've been scammed. The door's right there. With Zetro completely losing most of his hearts, I had enough to leave this machine behind and move on to the next plan that make me gain hearts even faster. They have the immortality potion. How did they? Why are they not keeping it for themselves? Yo, someone seems very sus about this. The immortality potion went to the highest bidder, and any second, Toby's about to drink it. He drank it? Whoa! Hey, wait a second. What is going on? He died? Yo, the potion of immortality makes user immortal, but I saw Toby drink it. So how is it still in my hand? Yo, Kipley. What's up? Hey there. I know you double crossed me, but I'm not here for that. You see this in my hand? Is that what I think it is? It's the potion of immortality. 15 hearts. You're just gonna give it to me? 15 hearts. All right, all right, fine, man. Fine, I'll give you 15 hearts. That's easy. You might be wondering why I'm selling this potion. That's because it's a fake. It's the entire reason Toby died. And I can sell this potion for a bunch of hearts, helping me in the lead to win the real potion. All right, here's the hearts, Quiff. 15! All right, a deal's a deal, man. Give me the potion. There you go. Thank you. This is amazing. Yeah, I, I appreciate She had more hearts right there. But yo, I'm kind of stacked right now. And I have 17 hearts, which means after redeeming, I have 28. I only need 12 more to buy the potion. Sources is one heart away from 40? Okay, slight problem. I'm currently third place in the heart race. And the player in first is only one heart away from getting the potion. And the only thing I can do is to kill him. But he's nowhere to be seen. Like, seriously, yo, Sorceress, you in here? Hey, buddy, I'm just I'm just trying to talk. Yeah, no, he, I, I, I don't know where he is. And even if I check every inch of the map, he's so well hidden, it'll be impossible to find. And that's why I'm looking for that right there, Zetro. Now, see, Zetro's an informant, meaning he has the location of everyone on the server. And at a price, I could buy it off him. Yo, Zetro. Oh, hello, hello. Yo, listen, I am looking for sourceless. Do you know where he is? Indeed I do, but that comes at a price. And what's the price? 20 hearts. Seriously, 20? You have 20! I think it's a fair deal. There you go, 20 hearts right there. Thank you, the deal has been done. What is it? What? Okay, okay. Just tell me where Thanks he is the right hearts, now. Man. Well, let me just tell you, he's not exactly close. He's at X and Z 4000 up in the mountains. So good luck, buddy. Okay, I've got no time to waste then, brother. I rushed all the way to the cords, hoping to find him and finish him off. Wait, is that his house? I think I might have uncovered his house. No, I don't see him. Have I been lied to? This is the only house in the middle of mountains. I've been completely baited. Never mind, I see his name tag. I also don't know what he's wearing. And with him having more hearts than me, 
at losing a fight. But I have TNT and I have iron blocks. And now I make some TNT minecarts? Like so. You just wait right there. Bang, bang, bang. Now if I push the TNT minecarts, they'll shoot up over to his house and explode. I only have one shot at this. Please tell me this works. Go, 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 go. No! Wait, how did that explosion work? The minecarts went right. So how did this explode? I don't, I'm not going to question it. But he's completely dead. But I was baited. The player I killed was a fake sourceless. And the real sources now has 40 hearts and is heading to the auction. But I'm 4,000 blocks away. Meaning if I tried to run there, I still wouldn't make it. Okay, but I've loaded up my ult. Now since my ult loaded at spawn, I can cut him off before he arrives. Killing him and taking all his hearts. He's right there. I saw a name tag. I saw a name tag. What? Huh? Oh my. Nope, nope. Wait, play around this. Play around this. Oh, oh, I'm on two hearts. Oh, I've almost got you. Oh, wait, I died, but I think I killed him. Wait, did we both just die at the same time? The plan failed. We both died at the exact same time, meaning none of us got that loot. And I was so far away, by the time I'd make it, all the loot would despawn. And we both died here. But the worst outcome happened. Someone stole all the loot and is currently hiding underground, meaning a secret player has joined the race and is very close to winning. But I'm back at spawn now. But out of everyone online, who is the secret player? And that's when I had an idea. If I was to impersonate Rage and leave a present at spawn, it'd lure out the only player close enough to buy the potion. Need to play Steam's TNT. Yeah, goodbye. Cover it all with grass. Trap chest. Now I need to impersonate Rage and lure the player out. And that's what it looks like. It's missing the S. But no one will be able to tell the difference. Shepard, it was you. He's opened the chest. Oh, my. Did the MLG, did the water save him? It didn't save you. Because now if I go down, I have 36 hearts. And once I redeem them, look, I now have enough hearts to buy the immortality potion and survive the most dangerous server. Hello. There's a command block. Place 40 hearts to redeem the potion. No one seems to be coming. Can okay, redeem the hearts? Take them. True immortality. Thou shalt receive immortal life when used. I'm about to become immortal if I drink this. And let me. Whoa. What? I've lost everything. How's this immortal? I've gone to one heart and all my inventory is gone. The infamous quiff now has a 1 million bounty? Is that why I'm going? This was a curse. The player who drinks the potion isn't immortal, but the player who kills them. Why? It's because the potion gave me a bounty of 1 million hearts. And now I need to find a way to survive and redeem the bounty for myself. I think I'm kind of safe. But why am I glowing? They can spot me from a mile away. Quiff, you're going to die? Turn tables now? Pair to perish. The chat's being spammed. I need to kind of hide. But since I'm on one heart, I can't even kill myself with an ult. So there's no way for me to redeem the health. I can't even die to fall damage. So let's do the only thing I'm good at. Making an elaborate trap to kill people. Although that might work. Alright, and I'm through. I just need to get a little bit higher. But now that I'm on the top of the platform, I need to bait people up here and hit them off. What is he wearing? Is that an inventory head? Yo, stay back. Bro, you don't want this bounty. It's a curse. You are going to die. Sucks to suck. I'm out. I'm out of here. Jump down. Place, 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 place going to die. Oh! <laughs> Let me tell this loot. I didn't gain a heart since I didn't kill him, but I got one from him. This guy was glitched. But that's fine. If I don't find a way to survive and redeem the hearts, I'll be on the run forever. So I only have one strat right now. Using this one heart, am I able to fool the game into thinking I'm dead? By redeeming the heart the exact moment I die. Okay, I only have one shot of this. When I jump, I need to redeem this heart. And... It shows I've redeemed it. I instant respawned. How? And my health. My health's got all the way big. So just before I fell, I glitched the game into thinking I already died. Meaning the bounty is now mine and I'm officially immortal. I'm walking around spawn and no one's here. Nothing popped up in chat. Meaning people are still trying to hunt me down and take the bounty for themselves. So I have a bit of an idea. My idea is simple. First, I need to make a small arena. This kind of looks good so far. Someone like this. Yeah, maybe I need to turn this into someone like this. Yeah, I really didn't build this. I just walked over to our last arena. I kind of need to get a good angle at this. And boom, a throne fit for a king who's going to watch it all unfold because I'm going to lure them all to this arena and make them fight each other for a chance at immortality. So I'm going to tell them to come to the arena to find me. And now we wait. And just like I thought, they all arrive. Quip, we're here for the bounty. You might as well jump down, man. I'm going to let you guys know the bounty's been redeemed. And just to prove it, yeah, you, you guys can attack what? me all you want. You Whoa, can, you oh can my God, look at his health. Wait, no, look at his health. Oh, 2,000. You can tell. Okay, take him out. The, the health doesn't measure. You, you're doing no damage. I can kill you all now. But how about this? The last person surviving out of you guys will get a chance at immortality. All you guys need to do is kill each other. Go. Last one surviving. What? You can have a piece hmm. of this little immortality. Wait. It's not Jack! personal. Jack! Oh my. Business. Come here, Toby. I'm this sorry. is what it's immortality does. Way. Everyone's fighting each other. And I'm just watching. No. <laughs> no. Ah! Now there's only two more left. There's no immortality. I wasn't going to let any of them survive. Let's be real. They tried to kill me. And with that, I'm going to leave.